Hey, welcome back everybody. We're going to start doing the wiring so we can get this thing fired up. Off-road solution, highly recommend. Take a look at all these quality parts here. I mean, the connectors connect perfectly. Everything has directions on where it goes, but everything is plug and play, basically. Everything is labeled, uh, like EVAP, Purge. There's one for body ground on the driver's side. Transfer case, indicator switch, when it tells you on the dashboard when you're in four wheel drive. So this is the computer for the 3.4. And everything plugs in as it should, everything. Really good instructions on how to do that. They send you with the harness. But if you have any questions, definitely reach out to them because they'll get back to you within a day or two. But yeah, we're going to be putting all this mess. It looks like a mess, but it's not really a mess. We're going to put it all away, make it look factory, and run the wires we need to run through the, the rubber grommet, which is going to be way up there somewhere. And then we will get to the fuse box stuff. Got the wires ran through where they need to go. The computer is a tight fit. I might have to make some custom brackets to get it to fit in the factory location. Should fit there, no problems, but for some reason I think there's just so many wires that are connected with the harness that it's just tight. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to figure it out. OBD2 ran under there for now, there's gonna be a ground wire on the other side that I have to connect. What's going on under the hood? So all the wires come out of the main harness. I just cut a little tiny slit for the wires to come through. And now I'm gonna put them where they need to go. Got the transfer case and reverse switch ran down in between the firewall and the heat shield. That way it stays clear of the crossover pipe. The ones around, I'll let you know as we go. If you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe. Everything helps the channel out. Helps me keep going with projects like this. I really appreciate you guys watching. This next one, connect to battery positive terminal. So that's gonna be on the other side as well. So I'm gonna zip tie everything pretty neat across the firewall, out of the way of harm of exhaust. got it all ran come out of here nicely I might do something about this I don't like how this looks everything's ran really nice to the firewall I winded up putting a zip tie around this bracket originally I had it through here and the wires were like really high so I didn't like how that looked so I cut it off I really want to go for a clean look but I also want to try to keep them away from the heater hose, even though they are protected with this cover on them. So I just want to try to keep them away from the heater hose as best as I can. And then working our way over, one goes to the EVAP purge, other one goes to the starter trigger wire, and the other one goes to the battery, which is going to be right where the EVAP box is for now. i got to get a mount from off-road solutions to get evap box mounted but coming together okay i haven't spliced the fuse box in yet but i made a connection here just to give me an idea how to route it everything will get zip tied and it'll be nice and clean but i think 
I have it connected there and then run it up with the other wires straight across just like the other wires here's where the other wires come out and then that fuse is extended all the way down to the positive battery which will be right here so that way the fuse box has power and then I'll work on getting those T case and transmission hooked up right now down here at the bottom you can see where the transfer case wires come from the top I'm gonna kind of route it over there and let's see if I do this one-handed look at that snapped right in second one we gotta get hooked up T case for when you're in four-wheel drive and that connection is right there those wires finally connected that one goes to the transmission I showed in I showed earlier and then the T case one I had to splice in I found a connection off the old wiring harness so I cut it off and actually if you read the instructions it doesn't matter which color wire goes to which color wire on the harness and there you have it one step closer to getting this thing fired up and running this is just the start of the wiring there is going to be a part two and possibly a part three the part two is going to be doing the fuse box that isn't that bad actually i made a mistake but i didn't make it quite yet but i just wasn't thinking about it so i'll show you guys that in the next video thank you for watching if you've made it this far like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next video